so excited I got my prize I actually won a um, extra prize that Bonnie and Clive from YouTube donated to Wendy Mason's it's a big mouthful prize giveaway and my name come up which was cool I hadn't won a prize in ages not that I enter challenges to win prizes but it is nice occasionally to get a surprise in the mail so this is apparently one of Bonnie and Clive's mystery secret Santa packs I think they're still on our Etsy I'm just slitting it off camera so I don't show Bonnie's address don't mind showing mine because it's a PO box I'm glad I have a PO box at a small a small post office um, because they know me and they know my name I'm in there with my business nearly every day posting parcels or every second day um, and they've actually missed one of the numbers but because he knows my name he obviously put it in my PO box unfortunately um, otherwise someone else may have got my prize which would have been a bit sad um, oh wow it's all wrapped up that envelope the express envelope is really really thick so I will recycle that so we've got a Christmas card was going to open this with Alexis but she's not feeling well so she's having a bit of a lie down I couldn't wait any longer I've had this three days so I said do I do you want to open it or can I she goes you can oh and the doggy cute oh that's so cute the dog and the cat what's it say dear Melinda congrats on winning secret Santa giveaway hugs Bonnie love from not so secret Santa yeah I sort of the idea of the secret Santa it's a fantastic idea that Bonnie did basically you can go onto her um, Etsy or Zibit store. I'll link her channel below and then you'll be able to go find the link. And you can purchase one of her secret Santa sacks and put someone else's address in it and she will send it out. Nice bit of um, like Hessian string. She will send it out anonymously, which is really cool. So you can spoil someone and not be told who they're spoiled. Not be told who it's from, which I thought was a lovely idea. Trying to, oh, I think I just cut the paper. Trying not to cut anything beneath the paper. I like to save wrapping paper. I tend to use it in my art and craft, and this is pretty paper. I love buying pretty, pretty Christmas paper. I might just slide down this side. Um, at the end of the season, and then you get really nice stuff, really, really affordable. Oh wow, that is awesome paper. I like that. That would be cool in a journal. Oh, lots of goodies. I've seen a couple of people open their secret Santas and their prizes. I was looking at Mandy Christina's the other day and I looked at someone else as well. And I thought, gee, oh, I hope that's in mine. I hope that's in mine. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? I know all of them are different, but they are awesome. Oh, big bunch of. I was actually using these the other day, but you won't know what it is. I was using them for until mid-January. Teaser for you. <laughs> oh wow, we got some sparkly, looks like sparkly, um, I wonder if that's sticky. Oh, it is sticky. Cool, sparkly, sticky stuff. One of her little um, square. Now, if I go to do that, it looks like a dog's breakfast. I, I can pick up things and put them down and they just don't look right. But Bonnie, when I saw her video, they all look really, really cute. I think it just takes practice. This is cute too. This is a... Oh, the back's textured. Oh, that must be a um, paint chip, not pa or a laminate chip. That's really cool with them on the side. I didn't know you could sew through that thicker material. I don't know, my machine was groaning at me the other day, so... Only because I didn't have it threaded properly. Whoops. Little cute doggy. What's this? The calendar with the table of lessons. Okay. January. Interesting. December. Okay, must be from like a school timetable book. Some coffee dyed or... Can't smell it's coffee dyed, so it might be tea dyed paper. I must try some of that. I tried it ages ago, but I now have a gas oven, so I'm a little wary. Um... Maybe if I put another tray on top, they won't. I'm wary they might, when they dry, fly up and get incinerated. A cute little card. Travel Transport, your company has lead in the production of the main terrain vehicles. Okay. I love these sort of cards. I've actually got my eye on a few of Alexis's games when she no longer decides she wants them. Stamp. I used to collect stamps when I was a little girl. Calendar page. But unfortunately, when I moved house, when I moved out, 
when I was like 25 I thought oh, I don't need all that crap to carry with me and I should have kept it for art that was before I got into junk journaling and stuff like this got a check receipt or receipt candy bag I love how she's coffee dyed these I thought these were bigger these are quite small it's really cute don't get a lot of glycine bags here in Australia oh isn't this cute <clears throat> cute one of her little journaling spots might put that in the paper bag because otherwise I'll probably lose it some lace, some notepaper with donuts on it, an index card for M. I wonder if you purposely did this, M for Melinda. Really? Or did we just get a random pack? That's funny. Some money, yay, $100. That's really cool. I've actually been to US. I've got real US money somewhere. Some wrapping paper. I like the trees. Oh, another M. I wonder if you did this on purpose. That is really cool. Of a sin address book, I won't really show you that because it's got real addresses on it in some really funky writing. Um, book page isn't it queer? said Teddy Bear. Ah, oh, looks like it's got poems and stuff on it. I don't know. Oh, pretty. This one looks old. Gladly pushes a letter into Fatty's hand. Okay, you can tell it's old because Fatties would not be a name that we get now. Even if you get the... I remember reading the Magic Wishing... Oh, the Magic Wishing Tree? Far, far away a tree or something. Eden Blight and Books. And they've changed all the names now when Alexis read them. Mr. Goon. Oh, that's funny. Oh, thanks, said Fatty, cheering, cheering up. That'll be splendid. Oh, God, you don't get those names now. Being politically correct. Oh, this is thick paper. It's very thick paper. On a roan bull. Okay. Must be really old. I love this thick paper to do art journals with because it takes the paint and the ink without the gesso really nicely. But they're getting harder and harder to find. Um, the books with the really, really thick pages. Some music paper. Some colourful small backyard. That's really cute. I actually grew up in a garden nursery. My parents owned one. So I know a lot about plants that I shouldn't. A little picture of a man, Tom Collins. That's really cool. The old, getting into the vintage. Oh, cancelled check. I remember writing checks for my business. I've probably got an old checkbook somewhere. I could just stamp cancelled on them and use them. Ooh. Because I know Bonnie and Clive worked at a bank. I heard some other YouTubers say that. Oh, and one of her scrappy flowers. They're cool. I want to try those. Just got to find all my bits. I have bits somewhere. And some post-it notes in red. They're cool. And Indonesian omelette. Vegetarian and meat frittata. That looks really old. Miscellaneous dishes. Egg in soup. Okay. Ingredients. Butter. Dried breadcrumbs. Six eggs. Soup of your choice. Chopped chives. Butter, six ramekins of coat well with breadcrumbs. Break an egg into each one. Pour in soup. Sprinkle with chopped chives and grated cheese. Bake. Well, it is vegan soup, isn't it? That's funny. Some of the old recipes are just hilarious to read. Oh, some Nemo tape, as Amanda Christina called it. And some goodies that Nemo tape's not wanting to stick anymore. I love the brown paper baggy envelope. Whoops. That went clunk. So there's another bead somewhere. Whoops. There goes another bead. A um, safety pin with beads on it. That's pretty. It sounds like glass. Oh, maybe it's acrylic. That's cute. I love a little little envelope. Go find where that bead went. Otherwise, it will go up the vacuum cleaner. Some um, like a kid's learning book in Japanese or Chinese. That's really cool. Okay, how do you know which pot plant goes with which then? Because all of these look the same. Unless you just have to work out there's no one out. Two, four, five, two, four, five. Ah, oh, you have to work there's no one out. Oh, do it. Okay. I thought you had to put them in order of growth, but I'm looking at them and they've all got the same growth. 17th of March 2004, and she's got a star. Oh, very good student. Some um, comics. Oh, 
going brain dead today. I wonder if I can pick up what comic it is. I used to love reading comics when I was a kid. I used to love reading Garfield. I'd love to find some Garfield comics because that's what I read when I was a kid. Oh, one of her piece of her material that's pleated. That is really cool. I'm going to have to try and see if I can do that. I wonder, Bonnie, do you pin that before you sew it or do you just sew and just like pleat it as you go because it's so like perfect. That is really cool. That got nice spine on a journal. <gasps> the babies, aren't they cute? Yep, we're in political area, so we've got multicultural babies. So that must be from Annie Gable and Green Gables. A lemonade. Oh, some of your funky coffee dye or whatever dyed paper. It's not coffee dye because it's red. Um, I love these. It must be food dye. I might try some food dye paper. Oh, pretty sticky bird. I know who would love the bird. Someone's its channel starts with a bird. <laughs> What's this? This is some sprayed paper. That is really cool. I want to try this sprayed paper too. I love, there's another YouTuber that has the really nice sprayed paper and some purple, my favourite colour, meshy stuff. That comes in handy. Some instructions. I don't, oh, we've got them upside down. I don't do instructions. Oh no, blueprints. Not instructions. Tropical section, site elevation. Oh, Northwood bathroom, bath frame framework. Okay, so it's not instructions. Oh good, I don't do instructions. I don't read them. Try putting Ikea furniture together. Never again. Never buying from Ikea. In saying that, I've got a new bed coming for Alexis. Not from Ikea, but I have to put the darn thing together. Oh no, there's the bead. What did that roll out of the package? I found... Oh found the bead that went astray. I remember this paper. My dad used to have this paper. That is awesome. You don't see a lot of that paper around now. Up until probably 12 months ago, one of my American supplies used to use similar paper with the holes down the side. And some, what's this? Unit 20 alpha, alphabet skills. Your goal, to build keyboard type it skills by typing lines of words and paragraphs each containing each letter of the alphabet oh god i hated typing at school absolutely hated it the um teacher would put a tea towel over our fingers so we couldn't cheat <laughs> it's not funny there's a nice violin with flowers that's pretty there is is it yogi bear is it yogi bear amanda christine you'll have to correct me is that yogi bear no i don't think it is yogi bear I don't recognise it. But that's a really cool, colourful page. And some of Bonnie and Clyde's. I was so tempted, um, wedding wedding stuff. I was so tempted to buy one of those wedding packs. But I'm trying to be so good. And 2019 is going to be my year to use up all my crap. Or to get it sorted. Or to gift stuff out that I'm not going to use. So I want to go through and not buy as much. So you may not be seeing as many hauls. <laughs> Probably last five minutes of me and then I'll go and buy stuff. Um, that's pretty. This is pretty. You know what this would look pretty on? And you're probably all going to cringe at me. Wouldn't this look awesome on my gel plate? This would be awesome on my gel plate. It would just make the beautifulest prints. With ink. Oh, maybe I'll try it with ink. Because ink won't glob it up. Ooh, Bonnie and Clive, I hope you're not in distress that I'm going to paint the, <laughs> paint the beautiful piece of lace. That is just gorgeous too. I've been eyeing off wedding dresses to cut up um, at the op shops, but God, they put expensive prices on them. Um, I need to get friendly with an op shop and see if they have stuff that they're going to throw out that I can grab like one that's torn or something but yeah I'm seriously thinking this is going to go in my jelly plate box because that is just gorgeous I wanted to try oxiding some of my jelly plate for ages and I think this piece might be doing it because then I can use it over and over and over again and not just use it once is that not good thank you so much Wendy for having the beautiful giveaway and thank you so much Bonnie and Clyde for donating the prize I love each and every bit of it and I'm sure Alexis will steal most of it but that's okay, we share scrapbooking supplies here. We share stuff. As long as I get to pick first. Thank you so much and we will see you again soon.
Bye for now.